What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. Welcome to the Spark Channel, man, what Spark stands for. Smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Now, let me go ahead and put it out there. Uh, you probably thinking, where's Andrea? Where's Andrea? Where's Andrea? Well, Andrea is back at home right now doing some administrative things, catching up upon things that kind of build up throughout the week and she's taking care of that. So um, today I tried to bring you guys out here in the uh, park, in the park area with me to take a walk, a stroll. Uh, but I'm in the car and being in a car is going to be for good reason because it's very related to our topic. Um, and you will understand why shortly. All right. So before we get uh, started, um, make sure y'all go check out the website um, at the end of your spark prayer today. Um, we have a lot of things that's going on, man, and that we are preparing for in the summer and check out our mission and vision. Y'all, we're really hoping to get your contributions in that effort. Um, also, if y'all trying to get in touch with us, uh, you can, you can always contact us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram. If none of those don't work for you, just head over to our website and hit that contact us button. And we'll be right in touch with you as soon as possible. All right. As time allows, um, we're going to be posting a link down below in the description to all of those different connection, uh, uh, net uh, works for you so that it's an easy, easy find for you at all times. All right. Um, before we get started, y'all always know I got to have my products with me. Y'all know I got to have my bottle with me. Because wherever I go, that bottle got to go. And wherever I go, my mentality got to go. And that's that spark mentality. OK, even when I got to drink something, I'm reminded of my spark mentality. All right. So you 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 need to be reminded of your spark mentality and go get that bottle and stop playing around. All right. Go get it. Go get it. All right. Y'all be uh, before we get started, though. Uh, Y'all know I just implemented this uh, thing where we want to, you know, uh, tell a little joke before we get started. Um, Y'all know I can be a little corny uh, person some uh, time and tell some jokes. So uh, let's get into it. I only got one today. I don't got three. All right. And Andrea is not here to answer them uh, for us. So you are going to be at, have to uh, answer it. So <laughs> thank Andrea for not being here. Uh, doing the, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking with that one, but, uh, here's the a joke. Let me stop, let me stop playing. <laughs> All right. The joke is, why did the robber wash his clothes before he ran away with the loot? <laughs> the question is, why did the robber Wash his clothes before he ran away with the loot. <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. You got five seconds. This is an easy one. Like, I really don't understand why people can't get this stuff. This is so easy. Three, two, one. <laughs> He wanted to make a clean getaway. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I love it. Hey, YouTube watchers, podcast listeners, I know y'all got to uh, laugh out of that one because if y'all didn't, y'all don't understand jokes, okay? I'm like, th that's the funniest thing in America right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, y'all, we finna get into the, uh, <laughs> we finna get into our topic. Uh, like I said earlier, um, I'm in the car for a good reason, man. And, um, uh, many a times when we, are, when we are driving cars, uh, we are putting on what's called a GPS and that GPS tends to really do a great job trying to navigate those different, uh, you know, uh, roadblock areas to try to get us to our destination as soon as possible, as quick as possible, immediately, like without any trouble that's, uh, without any challenge or roadblock that's going to get in our way. So the GPS is really, really good with that stuff, man. And, um, 
uh, hats off to the GPS for doing that, you know, uh, because there'll be a lot of people that's getting late to work and all that stuff. So, so that's, that is the, uh, overall responsibility of the GPS is to get you to your destination as soon as possible, as quick as possible. All right. You got a destination. You trying to get there. I hope I got it into your mind a little bit of where we're going to be going with this. All right. But in re in the, in the, um, in the human and the reality and the spiritual world, it don't really work that way. Um, you uh, tend to go through a lot of life challenges or you get exposed to some uh, barriers or you tend to have some experiences that seem to be unfavorable. And then you, um, you know, you become wiser through those things. And then you finally get to that destination, but not during the time that you were expecting. OK, or not during the time that you uh, was, um, uh, intending to, right. And, um, this has a lot to do with God's GPS, right? Because God's GPS is better than any GPS. All right. And that is the topic today. So better than GPS. All right. So we're going to get into it. I'm, the, the first thing I'm going to read to you is, uh, Psalm, uh, Psalms 30, Psalms 32, uh, verse eight. All right. It says here, I will instruct you and teach you in a way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I'm going to read that again. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. And I'm going to read a particular part because I think it's very necessary for, um, not only myself, but like all of us to kind of really um, take ownership and really understand the value behind that second portion where he says. Uh, not only will I instruct you and teach you, yeah, I'll instruct you and I will teach you. Which what we talked about last prayer or uh, last Sunday prayer, where we talked about the instructions, the basic instructions before leaving Earth, which is the Bible. That's how God is teaching us. That's how God is instructing us. Right. But the second portion here is very important where it says, I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. OK, so what is counseling? Counseling is guiding, is directing, is uh, kind of coaching in a way, uh, but not really coaching. I want to kind of uh, move with that with a with, with some little sensitivity but guiding you um, with my loving eye on you. And always remember, God is love and love is God. God is love and love is God because God always going to have his eye on you. God is always going to be um, watching you and trying to guide you and be there for you at all times, no matter, no matter uh, how bad you feel like you have done in the past, no matter how bad you feel like your experiences is, no matter how bad you feel like your choices were, no matter what it is that you have done, God is always having his eye on you, his loving eye. And his loving eye means that he has unconditional love. He's going to love you no matter what. So whatever it is that you have uh, been exposed to in the past or whatever your choices and experiences was in the past, just know that God don't keep track of that stuff. Just know that God is always loving you for who you are. And, and, and whenever you are ready to start following God, God is right there with you at all time and ready for you to start following God. And that's what that means when it says, I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I will guide you with my loving eye on you. I'm going to love you as uh, no matter how long I have to guide you. I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm going to love you through it all. And I'm going to accept you for who you are. And when you are ready to rock and roll with me and follow me, you will be blessed. You will reap the benefits of, uh, of, of being um, uh, of, uh, living according to God's will. And remember, we, we talked about that last week as well. God's will is his intent for the world is what he uh, wants for the world or, or the earth. And um, in order for you to live accordingly, you have to follow the uh, instructions that he's 
uh, guiding us through and teaching us through. But it's your responsibility to follow him while he's watching you. But if you are not doing your portion, which is making that decision to follow him while he has his loving eye on you, then you are making a decision to reap those results that you probably don't want. But yeah, God is always going to be there with you, but you have a responsibility too. You have to turn and follow God in the direction that he wants you to go. Now, I, I do want to tell you this though, like when you follow God and you know, you have had those life experiences and you have uh, had your uh, major own choices and um, um, uh, God is going to uh, take you through. Uh, God is going to be leading you to where he wants you to go. Have you ever heard that song? Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. I can sing a little bit, but but order my steps like God is ordering your step. Your steps is already ordered. It's your responsibility to follow God and uh, follow him in the steps that he has already ordered for you. Because if you don't, you're going to be reaping um, some negative results that you probably don't want. Because when you choose to not follow God, then you're choosing to follow who? The enemy, right? Or you're trying to lead upon your own understanding. And those are both recipes for failure. Okay. You want to make sure you are following God in Jesus name. Okay. So I uh, really wanted to get that into you and to uh, really kind of get your juices flowing before we move on here. Okay. So I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. And that's what that particular area means. Um, that's how well, that's how I will break it down. So hopefully podcast listeners and YouTube viewers are understanding this because I'm definitely gonna do my best to break it down for you. Um, if there is, um, I am not a pastor, a preacher. I'm only uh, taking you through, as you know, uh, my journey of following God, as well as trying to help you do the same thing um, in your own unique lifestyle. OK, uh, <clears throat> so that's what that means. So let's just take let's take some time and answer some questions for yourself. Uh, has God ever led you anywhere? that surprised you? And number two, what is the best thing to do when you don't understand why the Lord is leading you in a certain direction? Like I can, I can answer that first question for myself. Like, you know, like has God ever led you anywhere that surprised you? I mean, when you look back on your life, you know, were you were you even thinking about God in those moments where you was being led, where 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 you could have been led uh, to a destination? But now that you look back on it, you look up on it as you was being led to a destination. Does that surprise you now that you are getting more uh, in tune and connected with a God in Jesus name? Like, um, did that? Did that come by surprise? Wherever you was led in your life, wherever experiences that you had in your life, were you surprised by it? And why? You want to explain to yourself why were you uh, why were you uh, surprised by the uh, situations that you were led to in uh, your past or your experiences? All right. Uh, take some time and think about it. Uh, you know, for, uh, me, you know, I can definitely, I can definitely say for myself, like a lot of things that I had experienced in life, man, I was honestly surprised by, you know, the things that had eventually occurred. Um, you know, um, I would have never seen myself experiencing things that I have experienced um, in life, if you was to ask me that, you know, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, being, being able to go through certain, certain situations or certain life experiences really shows me that, you know, everybody is different. 
Everybody has their own lifestyle. There are many lives out there. There are many um, organizations out there and people just trying to be happy and live a very, very um, loving and uh, happy lifestyle. But just going through so many different life challenges, there's a lot of people just struggling out there because they are choosing to not follow God's GPS. They don't trust that God GPS is better than the car, the vehicle GPS. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't they don't they don't trust or they don't have that faith that going down God's path is going to lead them to greatness. Right. So um, and I can say that for myself, man, like, man, I was I was like going through life thinking that, you know, everything was easy. Everything going to come my way. You know, like I'm doing this on my own. Is there really a guy? Is there really a Jesus? Like, you know, it took for me to hit rock bottom before it really opened my eyes to see that, hey, man, God has been with me the entire time in my life. Like all of the crazy and uh, uh, bad stuff that I've probably experienced in life, God was still having his loving eye on me throughout all of that stuff. And the fact that um, I can sit up here and say to you today that, man, I'm a living testimony of um, a human being that's living where the enemy tried to attack from several directions, from several directions. And I can sit here today and let you know that when I made the decision to follow God, to become knowledgeable, to seek God's word, to uh, figure out what works for me, it start opening my eyes to just many things that's, uh, you know, to, to a lot of spiritual things that's going on out here. Not just the physical things that we see on earth, but everything that you can probably encounter or that you are probably thinking about or probably impacting your day or probably just trying to knock you off your path is spiritual. And the enemy tries to knock you off your path in so many different directions, y'all. Try to get you to feel discouraged. Try to get you to feel like you're not worthy enough. Trying to get you to feel like, man, your situation ain't nothing. Trying to get you to feel like that dream that you got is not going to ever come true. Trying to get you to feel like, man, just so many different things that can uh, that can just be a buildup over time. That can ultimately that's ultimately set up to get you to be hindered. To take yourself out. And to overall just stop, because when the enemy gets you to stop. That's right. That's right in line with the enemy wants you to do. But think about it. The moment you start, the moment you start making a move towards the purpose that God has in line for you, the moment you start walking in the path that God has already ordered for you, the moment that you start, uh, the moment that you just start um, either speaking with God or praying to God or following Jesus and, you know, in just increasing your knowledge. Why do you think something always try to happen? Something always happen. Think about it every time. Like that's like the uh, pattern. Every time you try to do what's right. Every time you ask God or Jesus for help and they come in. And they show you the way and you start walking in that path. There's a distraction that tries to distract you off that path every time. But it's going to take for you to recognize that those distractions is coming from the enemy. Those distractions is coming from the enemy. Just like just like when you on that uh, road and that and that GPS is taking you to your destination. And you got all that stuff up on the side of the road that's popping out at you saying, stop here, go here, stop here, go here. And you got a full tank in your car and you like, no, I got to I got to uh, I got to get to my destination right now. Just imagine like, for example, <clears throat> let's say you are, I don't know, whatever your destination is. It can be like work. It can be an event. It can be whatever. It don't even matter. You got to get to your destination in five minutes. 
what what would you typically do? You would typically be in your car and you probably speeding. You probably speeding to that destination. You ain't letting nothing knock you off your GPS route. If you got to swerve around some cars, if you got to uh, swerve around to get around some potholes, if you're going to be actually looking ahead to make sure that traffic is still good. The moment you start seeing them brake lights hit and traffic is all the way up there, you're going to be looking at your time. And you're going to be trying to figure out upon your GPS, how can I navigate? What exit can I get off of to stay on my path to meet my five minute destination? You're going to try to figure out how can you get to your destination? And that's, and that's really because you know, you know where your destination is and you know how, uh, how uh, far it is ahead of you to get to your destination. But your action is you was doing by all means necessary to get there in five minutes. You was following that GPS route. You was doing whatever that GPS told you to do. The moment that GPS say, I'm re-navigating you, you're going to re-navigate with it because you trust in that GPS. You trust in that GPS. You trust in it. You don't even know that GPS. You just following the voice. Why can't you do the same thing for God and Jesus? Why can't you do the same thing for God and Jesus as it pertains to your life? Why can't you? Why can't you wake up and get in that spiritual car and you just start driving, following God? No matter where God and Jesus try to take you, you're going to go. You're going to go. When God say turn here, you turn here. No questions. God say turn left, you're going to turn left. Turn right, you're going to turn right. Just keep straight. You're going to keep straight. You keep going. You keep going. Oh, there's a barrier up here. You keep going. There's all these cars in my way. You keep going. There's discouragements right here. You keep going. There's some bad people right there. You keep going. I don't think I can make it. You just keep going. Until God and Jesus tell you to uh, uh, navigate. You keep going and trusting in them with all your heart. Just like you do with that GPS in your car. Even if you're not in a car, GPS also has a walking feature. You put your GPS on when you get out the car or when you go out the house and you turn on a walking feature. You go wherever that GPS tell you to go. Do the same thing with God and Jesus. You walk, you drive, you fly, you skip, you, you run. No matter where they tell you to go, you go. Because their GPS is the best GPS. All right. Hey, man, I, I like really hope this uh, this uh, connected with some of y'all. I know it got a little intense. Um, um, if you got any questions, definitely, um, you know, connect with me, um, connect with us uh, through our social media channels. Uh, but we're going to get into the prayer. OK, uh, let's do it. And I really hope that you are doing well. Uh, and I understand that there can be a lot of challenges. Nobody is perfect. Uh, but if you are someone that has, you know, negativity on your shoulders or, or, or you have the enemy is picking at your family or is picking at you or is picking at, you know, a situation that you're in, you know, one, you got to be grateful for what it is you have. And two, you got to ask God for help. Uh, a lot of times you're not asking God for help. A lot of a lot of us is just trying to lead on our own under uh, under a standing and just trying to do things upon our own. You have to ask God for help and have faith that God is going to show up no matter what. And when God does show up, it's going to be right on time and right on time is not your time. It's on his time and his time is the right time. Trust me. Living testimony right here. Trust me. 
And I'm so glad that you joined today because this is a great start to your uh, journey if you haven't uh, started already, y'all. All All right. Uh, Let's get into the prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for uh, uh, allowing us to be in the car today. Uh, (laughs) I know I have uh, a podcast listeners in in my car. Um, Also, the uh, YouTube viewers. Um, whatever situation that is, um, facing us, God, just allow us our uh, actions and our thoughts and our minds to understand that you always have your loving eye on us. Allow us to understand that, um, uh, where you trying to have us go has a lot to do with your GPS that you have for our life, God. And your GPS is the best GPS. There's no GPS like yours. Allow our actions to uh, to reflect the same and even so much more. Just like we follow that vehicle GPS that we can look up, God, allow our actions to trust and know that you are leading us in a amazing path. And we can have a destination just like we put on a regular car GPS, God. But the destination that we have in our minds for our life, God, we have to trust and know that you have an amazing destination for our life, God. And we just have to trust and know through you that it is so much greater. And we have to follow you and trust you and understand that there is not going to be a lot of uh, uh sun shines and brights throughout every every path that you lead us through god um you can you're going to be leading us through uh different uh paths god and you're going to be allowing us to experience things to build us up for what you want us to be ready for because the reason why you probably feel like you have to build us up, God, is because the enemy has taken us through so many different challenges, planted so many different seeds in our past, in our life to allow us to experience things that we experience. Now you have to take us through. You have to take us through. Sometimes you got to take us through circles. Sometimes you got to take us through woods. Sometimes you got to take us through so many different wildfires to so that we can see how how strong we are. We are rebuilding ourselves back up, God. Through you, God, we are becoming stronger, not only physically, but also mentally, God, and also spiritually, God. And through you, God, we will be amazing, amazing children of yours, God. And we just have to believe and know that your GPS is the best GPS and you have already ordered our steps and it's just our responsibility to take our feet, to take the, the, uh, the way that you have allowed us to navigate life, to walk, to go down that path. God, no matter what our situation is, you want us to start progressing in that, in that path that you have already ordered for us, God. So help us to navigate that path, God, as soon as possible, as soon as possible. Thank you for allowing us to do this together. Thank you so much for the spark vehicle. Thank you so much for showing us, showing me that we have a spark deep down inside of us that that cannot be relit without a strong faith in you, God, in Jesus name. Help all of us walk in your path. Help all of us follow you as it relates to our lifestyle, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, y'all, podcast listeners, YouTube viewers, thank y'all so much for joining. I hope that really connected with you. And uh, as y'all know, SPARK stands for smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Hey, y'all know you do not have a strong spark or bright spark or can't even relight that spark without a strong faith in God, in Jesus name. Hey, love y'all. Peace.